up welcome back to my channel if you're new here be sure to subscribe I post week in my life weekend in my life it's just vlogs of my life in Boston post-grad adulting doing all the things and recently quit my job so I I'm just kind of working on me for a little bit, you know? Self-development, baby. Before I go too far into the video, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Fabletics, which is a brand that I actually love working with because I love their stuff. I started out purchasing their products in like January, just like on my own. I was like, oh, I just like wanna try out their stuff. And I became obsessed, so I'm so excited to be working with them. I'll show you guys my outfit. It's just gonna be like, this is just like a casual outfit for like running errands. It's kinda chilly out today, so I figured this was good. But they have like the cutest stuff. You could actually get two pairs of leggings for just $24. This is like a $99 value, it's amazing. Um, so click the link below to access that offer. My favorite leggings are the power hold ones and the seamless. I have two favorite kinds and they're really good. This is just what I'm wearing to run errands. Um, I have to go to the UPS store to mail my brother a package and then where else do I have to go? Sorry, I have the laundry going at the same time. That's kind of rude, we're gonna shut that. Oh, I have to run to Trader Joe's, get some groceries, so there'll be a grocery haul in this video. I do wanna work out later at some point. I have a call at 11. It's a Saturday, but it's a pretty busy Saturday, actually, kind of shocked. But this is everything. I love this jacket. This is the Lada jacket. The hood is actually removable, but I, I just like it as it is. It's super comfy, and I am just wearing a sports bra underneath. This is the Poppy sports bra. I might throw a shirt on, just in case it's like I want to wear a shirt with the leggings and then these are the power hold leggings This is like a set that goes together. I guess the the sports bra and the leggings, which I really like I love the sports bra like it looks like double like layered. It's really cool Just like such high quality stuff like for the price. This is actually incredible. I love Fabletics I'm always like running around and I love their sets and stuff So I'm gonna throw a shirt on <laughs> And then we will be out the door. I'm gonna fill up my water bottle. I know that I need to work out. It has been a really long time, you guys. I actually like just got back in town from um, being in New York. I quit my job last week and I haven't really just been on the fitness grind in general, just like with work and stuff. Um, I've been like eating not the worst, but I need to start working out again. And that's why I like Fabletics clothing because it's like trendy stuff that you could wear when you're grocery shopping, you're like getting brunch with your friends, but it's also stuff that you could very easily transition to uh, working out. So that's good, I don't even have to change later. Cheers. All right, I last minute changed into this Fabletics. It's like a little bit lighter because it's actually warmer outside than I thought. So this is like a Fabletics pullover and I'm wearing the sports bra still. Um, but let's go run some errands. I've been really procrastinating. And I really just gotta leave my apartment now. I've been listening to Old Migos, like on repeat. Old Migos is the best. I got iced coffee. Um, I had to run to pick up some product for something that I'm working on later. And then uh, now I'm going to the UPS store, which doesn't open for another like two minutes, but I guess I'll just be the first one inside to mail my brother a package. And then what else am I doing? Oh, I got Starbucks. And I asked for a venti cold brew with light cream and two pumps of sugar-free vanilla but they didn't do the vanilla but it's, it's just light cream which is fine i'm normally used to drinking it black at this point but i've been like doing some cream and like, like my order is like so random i don't even know then i got egg white bites because i ran out of the house and i didn't eat this morning i was gonna go to trader joe's after this like i told you guys but i actually am gonna run home first because i have a call at 11 and I don't really want to take that from the car. I'd rather do that at home. So I'll do this, go home, and then we can go to Trader Joe's later, maybe tomorrow. It's really not that big of a deal. I guess I can go later. Like I have nothing else. I mean, I'm going out like later with my friends, but that's really it. I do need to like work out at some point. So I have a few things that I need to do. Yeah, when I worked my desk job, <laughs> when I worked my desk job a whole week ago, um, I just really wasn't prioritizing like fitness and just health in general. Like. I was still like conscious of what I was eating, but I was just, I just felt myself like kind of going down a bad path with all of that. And then like obviously working out, like I was barely, like I would literally walk to my desk and then like sit at my desk all day. And I realized how much happier I am when I am like actively working out and stuff. So I'm going to start doing that again. I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, I was feeling lazy. So I just, well, oh my gosh, my hair. 
is like natural and I just threw it up because I just wanted it out of my face. But I changed into this other outfit from Fabletics. These are joggers. They are so comfy. And this honestly looks like it would be like a matching set vibe. It's This is a pullover sweatshirt and it has like a little thingy on the side. It's so cute. And I was just like, I just did a little call, FaceTime call. I think I figured out um, who my assistants are going to be. I wanted to say a quick thank you to all of you guys who submitted yourselves like your names um, your resumes etc um, the girls who it, it's two girls who they are best friends and they go to school in Boston it just kind of like made sense um, so nothing if I never got back to you I apologize I did see the emails it, it just made the most sense and they have experience in social media and uh, they go to school right in Boston so it just like location wise it makes sense because a lot of you guys that emailed me like it would have been a commute or whatever and I really wanted someone in college also because of the flexibility of the schedule now that I don't have a job like a nine to five eight to five situation I wanted someone that would be like around and able to like help me physically in person so very excited about that so from Amazon I just got this thing this is Claudia Saluski inspired I love her vlogs so much and just her as a person this is a tech case but it's basically like a roll it up situation and my tech wires and everything are just all over the place and I did sign up for a co-working space that I'm going to start going to this week so I wanted to get everything like in order this way when I like travel there like get myself there everything's like in order like right now I have all of my stuff in this glossier bag which is fine it's just i would prefer for it to be like more organized in something like this so this is my external hard drive that i use when i edit my videos um so i'm gonna plop that maybe in one of these i don't know and then i have earbuds which i purchased when i was traveling the other day because i realized that i just don't have a pair of like regular plug earphones anymore and they were pretty inexpensive and for travel and stuff they're really nice and for just like quick video editing stuff like that they're really nice even though i just purchased a pair of over ear headphones too i've just been a big headphone gal i don't know if we have room for those actually and this is a charger for my ipad and then this is the charger for the like big over ear headphone i don't know you guys i have to organize all of this and then i have sd cards are these like meant for sd cards no definitely not Maybe I'll put those here. Wow, my stuff is blowing up. I'm sorry, you guys. Several hours later, I, what did I even do? Oh, I talked to Mariah on the phone for a while. We just caught each other up. It's only been a week since we spoke, but all right, I'm gonna blow out this fall candle that I have going. It's, I believe this is just leaves. From Bath and Body Works, it's really good. Oh, I made some um, veggie egg rolls from Trader Joe's in the air fryer for lunch, which I didn't show because I was video chatting Mariah, but let's blow this out. I still have my coffee from before and let's hit the road. I love this case to buy case I have on my phone right now. And oh, I'm wearing still the all black fit. It's pretty warm outside, but um, I'm just running to Trader Joe's and I really like, I'm comfy and I love this fit from Fabletics. I just absolutely love Fabletics. Like I'm just gonna be living in lounge right now that I don't have to be in uh, work clothes all the time. Although I do feel nice dressing up. But like I said, Fabletics is stuff that you can kind of like dress up more so or dress down. When you sign up for Fabletics, you actually take a style quiz online, which is like just super fun and easy and it gives you some personalized recommendations. Then you just enter your email in and then you'll get like exclusive perks and stuff. Um, I definitely recommend also signing up for the VIP membership because you get 50% off everything when you're enrolled in the VIP program. I also find that on Fabletics, the designs are currently changing. So if you guys like want something, sorry, my dishwasher is going. Um, but if you guys want something, like if you see something I'm wearing or uh, any of your other favorite influencers that do Fabletics, you're going to want to buy it quick because their stock changes so quickly. Um, but that's exciting too. So you can like keep your eye out for new styles and whatnot. I honestly just feel like these pants like make my body like look pretty decent. I like like the shape of them overall. And then I know on most of their leggings, like these sweatpants, they're joggers. We'll call them joggers. They have pockets. I know a lot of the leggings have pockets too, which is pretty cool. Let's head out. These sunglasses are 11th hour. I always get asked. They're just my mom. Don't talk to me. Don't text the sunglasses. <laughs> Here's everything that I got. I spent around $100. Usually when I <laughs> unpack my groceries, I watch YouTube videos, so I add that up. I guess I'll just unpack everything and show you guys. Sorry, I have some dishes in the sink. 
um, let's get it. Okay, this is the spread of everything that I got. Let's just go down the line. Okay, so I know that I have healthy in the title of this video because I'm just calling it, or like getting back on track or something, like working out, whatever. I'm aware that everyone's definition of healthy is different. Totally understand that. I mean, my definition of healthy is just kind of living with balance and doing um, a good mix of fresh food versus like frozen, you know, like produce and things like that. And I, I'm gonna tell you guys like what I use these things to make with and it was around $100 for all this stuff I haven't been in like two or three weeks though. So it's been a minute and this will stock me up for a bit I got the last bag of cauliflower gnocchi. I do this in the air fryer with some toss fire um, These banana chips with the chocolate hummus, which is like real hummus you guys It's just like it has chocolate in it, too. If you haven't tried this combo Life-changing a lot of you guys have been tagging me in your Instagram stories with this. It is so good I had to try the new everything but the bagel Greek style yogurt dip. I'm really excited. I got pretzels and even tortilla chips. I mean, that might be like an interesting combo. I thought with pretzels though, this would be really good. And it's not that bad for you as like a light snack or something. I'm always snacking, especially now that I work from home. I'm assuming I'll probably be snacking a lot unless I'm like at my co-working space, I guess. But uh, yeah, this is a, new, a recipe that I asked Mariah for because she sent me some snaps and I was like, oh my gosh, what did you do? So she made a little stir fry situation with some frozen ground turkey, or I guess it is in the fridge section, but I have it frozen because I've had it for a while. So you do the turkey and then some veggies. So I got some mushrooms, some sweet potatoes, and then some onion. Um, um, I got this pre-diced just because it's easier to work with. Um, so I figured I would do like a little stir fry situation and then um, I can go ahead and eat that with some like lettuce wraps or romaine hearts. I could also use these romaine hearts for a salad, like chop them up. I thought that would be like really nice. I got a mozzarella log. <laughs> this is new for me, but I thought honestly, ooh, okay. um, as a easy din snack, who knows, um, the mozz with tomatoes. I thought that would be yummy and mozzarella on salads, like on everything. I freaking love mozz and I've never done this before, but I really like this combo. And I got, where's the bread? Oh my God, where's the bread? Oh, wait, oh, I have a whole bag. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, the bread's on here. Okay, that's why. Um, then I got turkey bacon. As you can tell probably by this haul, there's not a lot of meat at all. There's only one other item with meat in it. Yeah. Um, I just have been staying away from meat, but I figured that this would be a good way to kind of get some protein in in the morning with eggs. Um, I've been doing a lot of avocado toast just before work because it was quick, but now that I have a little more time to myself, I figured this would be like really good. Not everybody's vibe, but whatever. Bananas, my favorite coffee. Make sure you get the red one. It's the cold brew coffee. Um, tomato basil marinara. This is my favorite pasta sauce I do with the cauliflower gnocchi or if I do regular pasta, which is rare, but if I do it, um, I do that. Um, and I'll probably use this with the ravioli if I don't just do like butter and oil or something. Um, this is the honey roasted pumpkin ravioli. I've heard it's really, really good. Yeah, it's just like fresh pasta, I guess. I've gotten the fall spirit. This they did a sampling of a few weeks ago and I really liked it and I've been thinking about it ever since and I never got it. It is the Chilaquitas Rojo, grilled white chicken meat, coheated cheese, vegetables, pinto beans, and corn tortilla in a tomato based chili sauce. I don't even know how you're supposed to cook this. How are you supposed to cook this? Oh, in the stove top. Interesting. And then you're supposed to add like sour cream and avocado, which I did get avocado. I don't have sour cream, but yum. I feel like this is just, I mean, I tried the sample of it at the store and it was fire. So I feel like this is gonna taste really, really good. And it's pretty big, so you could probably make two servings out of this. Oh, you guys have been talking about it. People have been asking me to try butternut squash, mac and cheese, and apparently this is a really big serving of it too, so I'm really excited to try this. Um, I love just the frozen mac and cheeses from Trader Joe's in general, so I figured this would be good to try for the fall. This is like a fall thing. These are, uh, I always get them, I throw them in the air fryer. They're just cauliflower and broccoli veggie patties. I like them on top of salads, even eating alone, like with like a little like ranch or something. I know it's like kind of weird, but yummy. This is good. I made this in my last vlog. It's the rice cauliflower bowl, just like a really good thing from Trader Joe's. Gluten-free cheese pizza with a cauliflower crust. That's another staple that I like to have. Honestly, a lot of these are really good. Um, I'll say it, they're good drunchies. Like if you come back and you're like, oh my God, I need, like I didn't eat dinner. Cause sometimes I find myself like going out with friends at like a weird time. And then I come home and I'm like genuinely hungry, but I'm like kind of like intoxicated too. These are just easy things that you could throw in the microwave or oven really, really quick. And then um, you don't feel like horrible in the morning. Cause it's not like you're ordering like Uber Eats and like this huge thing. It's like, I mean, these are definitely like bigger meals obviously, but I find that I feel less guilty at least. 
because at school I had a really bad habit of like Uber Eatsing all the time, but honestly just throwing something in the microwave or oven is much more efficient. I got teeny tiny avocados for avocado toast and for this ch chicken dish. Um, fall harvest salsa, I've tried this last year and I fell in love. Maybe even two years ago, I don't know, Mariah and I used to get it. So good, and I had to get the fall leaf corn tortilla chips with it. Judge me, had to do it. This soup is really good, I've had it before. It's the lentil soup with ancient grains. You could do this in two servings too with like a thick slice of bread. I'll show you my favorite bread. Love this stuff, yummy, and it's like really good, high in fiber, stuff like that. Oh, for dipping for the dips and stuff, I got gluten-free pretzels. I just like the gluten-free ones better, honestly. And then these are really good. They're organic dehydrated carrots. So I figured those those are really good to just have on hand, a good snack, grab and go. I think I showed you guys the sweet potatoes. This bag is compostable, by the way, if you were wondering. I got these beautiful flowers. I always get flowers for myself. It makes me happy, and um, that's like a must on my list every time. And if you take good care of them, they last for like two two weeks, honestly. Like, I mean, they start to die towards the end, but if you take good care of them, this is like a fall mix. So pretty with the roses. This is my favorite bread. It is so good. You guys tag me in your stories with this too. It's so cute. It's the Tuscan pan bread and it's big slices. You could double toast it. So like toast one side, take it out, toast the other, but I freeze it. So then I have to put on the defrost setting. It kind of messes things up, but I do freeze my bread because I'm only one person and this goes bad in like five days. Like I can't, I personally can't go through that much bread in five days I, as much as I love bread. Um, I can't even do it. So. <laughs> And then I got some pumpkin spice coffee. I figured for the fall, this would be good in my uh, Keurig over there. I know it's like messy over there. That's why I wasn't showing it. Hi guys. So I didn't vlog yesterday. I ended up going out, but it was so freaking lame. The lines are so long if you wait till like 10 to go out in Boston. And like anybody else, I don't like waiting in lines. So then I came home. I was like in bed, like going to bed by like 1130. So I need to get better about that. I'm 22. I need to stop like being so lame. Um, I don't know why I've been lame lately. And it's bad because I need to go out and like be meeting people and stuff while I'm young. So uh, provide your encouragement in the comments below, okay? <laughs> I'll show you guys my outfit. I'm uh, gonna go grab some breakfast with my friend Steven. We're in Somerville by like kind of like where he lives. And it's just easier to go outside of the city for places like brunch and stuff because it's super busy in the city and uh, yeah, that's why I like where I live because I'm kind of in the middle of like this city and like the suburbs So it's like a really good mix. Oh, and I self tanned yesterday. It looks really good I used just the loving tan two hour express And then I have a facial appointment later at Reeler, which is where I go and my skin needs it You can probably tell it's very bumpy on my forehead. I'm not gonna lie. I picked up my skin So that's probably my own doing but very excited to get a nice little treatment done and feel better about myself But I'll show you guys my fit so so simple like so simple. This white t-shirt is from Princess Polly. Um, H belt, Levi's are also from Princess Polly. You guys always ask about these. I will try to um, figure out what the exact style is called. I don't remember. And then my Vince slip-ons. This is from Princess Polly. I just tied it on my bag. Very simple and it's kind of cold outside, but I, th I I mean, I don't really want to bring a sweater So so yeah, that's gonna be my plan for the rest of the day I do have to take some photos and stuff for Instagram content and whatnot I don't think anything is like too too pressing So hopefully I will be able to get it done at like a leisurely pace and then hopefully I will have time to come back here before my facial appointment at 3 but I don't really know. I'm leaving now and I put dry shampoo in my hair so now it's like all like sticky feeling. You guys know that? When you put dry shampoo in your hair and then you try to like move it around, it's like stiff. It just isn't, it isn't the vibe. We're getting brunch. Look at him with his literal like, yes. <laughs> Nesquik, is that what it's called? It's I have It's so good. I haven't oh even God. seen one of those it's since I was- It's chocolate milk. Like I may be 22, but let me tell you. <laughs> My vibe. Icons. My heart. Oh my gosh. I got just a black iced coffee and water, but I have a lot of food coming. And uh, date. The other side of the this is avocado, tomato, eggs benedict with potatoes. I just think it, it looks like a smiley face. <laughs> okay, I'm back at Reeler Skin in Newton and I'm going to get. A facial or something um brunch with steven was so fun he's literally my favorite he's one of those people like it's so important to find people in your life that you hang out with that boost your spirit motivate you inspire you and he's like one of those people and just such a good friend that's like willing to listen I, it's just i love people that are like willing to listen to me and then i'm listening to them and 
I don't know. I posted my like I quit my job video today So I've been like dealing with feedback with that which has been overwhelmingly positive But like it's just so nice to sit and like have someone to chat with so I'm really lucky and now I'm gonna go see my faves and get a facial We just finished up. Um, my skin is honestly so tight and glowing. I got the ceramic mask, but they also refer to it as the cell repair mask. And I'm so excited. They are my favorites. Like the owner, Colleen, who does my skin, actually incredible people. I know that it's like red, not like red, but more like inflamed right now. So you guys probably aren't like, wow, her skin looks good, but you know what I mean? Um, but if you go and say that I sent you, just say like Brooke sent me, or just say like Brooke, like use the code Brooke, whatever, you get. $25 off a facial under a hundred and uh, under 150 and if it's over 150 you get $50 off and um, It's really just good stuff high quality like it's so clean so nice so relaxing like if you really want to treat yourself like I'm a big fan of like spending money on like Services and like investing in my skin investing in my health and like, stuff like that So if you're looking to make a change, I love them and I don't think you guys will be disappointed. Okay I have a sheet mask on um, that they gave me today at Reeler because um, This is it just like goes with the the ceramic facial I guess what I got this is the advanced repairing mask It feels really good and I'm gonna continue this vlog. I cannot look at myself right now. I'm gonna continue this vlog into tomorrow because I just don't feel like I got enough content today. And tomorrow's gonna be kind of like a getting my life together, getting healthy. So I figured that'll be more engaging for you guys to watch. <laughs> This is so rare me getting ready with the sun here because I used to go to work and it would still be like kind of dark in the morning or the sun would still be rising and ah, <laughs> it feels so good. So this is my first official Monday here because last Monday I was traveling to, wait, no last Monday I was in Athens, Tuesday I traveled to New York, I was in New York all last week but this is my first week here ready to work from home. Um, ready to get down to business so I figured it would be kind of a fun day to vlog starting with getting ready it is actually pretty late already in the day it's already 9 40 what did I do this morning I cleaned my entire life literally from top to bottom um, I still had bags I should have like done a montage but my cleaning is not like people would watch me clean and be like you good sis I am wearing the Fabletic sports bra um, People would watch me clean and be like, yeah, you don't know how to clean. So I'm working on it, um, but I will do montages in the future, okay? It really wasn't that bad. It took me like a, probably a solid hour and a half to do that. I also showered this morning, took my leisurely time, listened to some podcasts, did um, a few things for like YouTube uploads that are going up later in the week. I downloaded Evernote, random enough. Um, I really want to get to using that to improve efficiency in running my business if we will um and i just i've heard i listened to tori's podcast um tori d simone previously tori sterling she rebranded i love it um and i listened to her podcast and i know she uses evernote and she works with like a team and it's just more collaborative friendly than like i use like the notes app on my computer and like phone and stuff and that's nice because they all sync up but Evernote you could share outward you can make to-do lists you could do like a lot there's just like more functionalities I guess with Evernote I have to download the app on my phone I have it on my iPad and my computer though so I figured that'll be good for working with the team and now I'm just getting ready for the day I was gonna like do a makeup free day but um, I do need to do some Instagram stories and stuff like that that I don't want to look super scary for so just some light makeup um, and then what else? I have to podcast later. I'm doing like this whole solo episode on why I quit my job. I was gonna like make, like Danielle and I were gonna do one together this week, but it just like the timeline like doesn't make sense with like we would just like have a normal conversation. I feel like I have to like announce that first. 
um, even though I did already like on YouTube, I feel like it would just make more sense for me to like formally do it in a video. I have such big pimples on my forehead and they're like big like underneath the skin. I know this is disgusting, but they like actually hurt. Um, even though my skin feels really tight for my facial yesterday, it definitely is not in the best of states, but we're gonna drink a lot of water. I'm drinking coffee right now though. Out of the gals in the go cup, it's dirty from my gross fingers. Love that. Got my whole life organized. Like it was, I kind of had like a day as if it was a Sunday today because yesterday I was like out seeing friends and like running errands and stuff. But today I really like what well, you saw. I vlogged with Steven yesterday, which is so nice. It's so important to see friends and like recharge like that. And I think I'm seeing some friends tonight from work. I didn't really get to see too, too many this weekend just because everyone was like all over the place. A few people are like out of town. Um, but I'm going to see some tonight, which is cool because I can zip over there and like yeah whatever i honestly need to do a better job which is what i think we're gonna work on tonight um investing because i have my money like in investment accounts but i haven't really been actively like doing like stocks and stuff and i did have the 401k from when i worked my tech shop my tech sales job but now i have to like manually insert the money into it which is fine and it does like still work that way like if i just connect my account i guess like my checking account i could like just manually transfer money which i do want to do because i still want to you know have my 401k set up wait i think i can right honestly i'm just saying that i don't know if that's factually true because do i have to have an employer to put money into a 401k i don't know regardless i do want to invest i use acorns which is pretty cool um a pretty cool investing tool but i definitely would like to do some like real real investing um and like picking out certain like stocks bonds things to do and i'm gonna do that tonight um with the help of some of my friends because they are more experienced but i am gonna make my own decisions don't worry because i know people are like you can't just do like what your friends tell you to do when it comes to investing because it's like they might not know but i do want to like learn more and like research and i think doing it with people especially like when i'm young like this it's probably going to be just more effective for me in the long run and i do um like i have an accountant i probably should get like a financial advisor to tell me particularly what to invest in but for now i feel like I can just kind of get away with doing it on my own. I, this could bite me in the butt later, who knows. I know my grandma's like a financial advisor she's trying to set me up with, so maybe I'll do that. Cause I do want to like, that's the thing about doing YouTube full time is that like a lot of people are asking me now, they're like, how do you feel about the security factor of it? And I'm not gonna lie, like it's definitely really scary that it's not like a super stable thing. And like one month you could have like the sickest month ever, like make a ton of money and then like have a really bad month but i think it's just about being smart with your money and knowing that like a good month doesn't mean that you can just spend me under means like growing a scalable business and taking that business offline too so that's like why i want to like start a business of my own and take it offline because i i don't think i don't think youtube particularly is forever but i think it's i mean if i had to make a guess i would say for another like two to three years we're still like very much so in the clear but i used to always say that like when i I was in college and I would see like people going full-time YouTube I'd be like not sustainable like what are they? they don't have an education or whatever but here we are four years later and they're still killing it so I was just being dumb and I might as well ride out the YouTube wave as long as I can you know that's what people keep saying to me at least they're like not even just YouTube like social media like keep doing me for a little bit and then I have to go back to getting a traditional job or whatever i'm also doing some uh, like this is the first time i'm really like openly saying it i am doing some like consulting projects on the side um things that kind of like just happen like they fell into place like really really well it's not going to be like that that lucrative because i'm just starting so i don't feel like it's fair for me to like charge a premium for my services at this time but i am going to do some consulting not for individuals but for like smaller businesses that like want to work with youtubers or influencers or whatever so i'm really excited about that because i feel like that'll be a good little avenue for me to like stay busy with even though like i definitely like i have plenty to do <laughs> like i have plenty plenty to keep me busy with these next few weeks so i hope you guys are all having a great day i don't know when this is, will be posted but i just like talking to someone that's the thing like working living alone and working from home now i'm gonna be like ah i need to talk to people but i did join that co-working space and my membership starts tomorrow even though i don't think i'm gonna go like get over there tomorrow because a pretty busy day with other stuff but i think i'm gonna go i signed up for the like orientation thing it's like the new member orientation for it on wednesday so i'm definitely gonna go to that and it'll be cool because hopefully i'll get to meet some people because um i would like to meet some other people that are doing things too because i'm out here 
I'm out here alone, baby. Boston. It's all good. Can't complain. Wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. This is from Fabletics. Um, the cardigan I'm actually obsessed with it it has a hood too so like super cozy but I have makeup on so I'd like get all over it but I've been wearing it all morning you guys know I love like robes and like comfy plush stuff like this and this is just like so my vibe you could totally wear it out of the house too because it's like very like nice I think I got this in a size medium and then I am wearing the black Fabletics joggers that I have been wearing so freaking cute you guys this is like oh my god i love this work from home vibe am i right and then the two other pieces i got from fabletics because i showed you guys everything else in this haul like literally all my outfits are from fabletics in this video but anyways um i got these biker shorts you guys know me i don't wear stuff like this normally so i'll show you guys in the try on how they look um i did try them on they're definitely different i think with like a bigger sweatshirt or something they could be cool or for like a work from home vibe or for just like going to the gym downstairs i would definitely wear these um and i did get white because i thought that they would be a little flattering white always makes you look tan and nice and they're really really like nice quality that's the thing that i noticed about these then I got another pair of one of my favorite like pairs of leggings from Fabletics. I love the seven eighths and I love high waisted. These ones are pure luxe though, so it's a little bit of a different material. But I love that they have pockets on the side. I mean, you guys will see in the try on they look like pretty good on, and they just hold you in and do all the right things. And I usually get bottom. Actually, I get like everything from Fabletics in a medium, except for the sports bras. I get a large, um, but yeah, I get like all my tops in a medium and stuff too. Um, I love love these. This is the look we're currently serving. I don't even know what to do with my hair. It's like so frizzy today because I just like didn't do anything with it I literally just like took I don't even know why I wasn't thinking um, But we're about to go not even we I am about to record gals in the go a solo episode Which is definitely already up. I have to put my hair down. I cannot take myself seriously But it's just like comfortable to put my hair in a bun. I've honestly been liking like the low bun look with glasses edgy the solo episode is going to be all about quitting my job because uh, I've just been getting a million and one questions and I just kind of want to address everybody to a podcast too So that if you are at work or something you can listen to it So I asked you guys for questions and then I kind of have like my general Story that I've been like working on and these are the blue light glasses that are really working because I've been on all my devices today I uh, got a lot of a lot of stuff done though feeling really good revved up. All right. It is lunchtime I just podcasted um, it went really well. I mean, it was like an hour of content basically on the dot and it just like naturally flowed It was definitely a bit choppy in some places But if you guys are looking for the comprehensive why quit my job it is up so you can go watch that And I think I'm about to make cauliflower gnocchi for lunch relatively healthy I make the whole container and I put some sauce on it and it's really filling in my opinion I do it in the air fryer though. So I have to take out the air fryer Mine is from Amazon. Wait, I put, I do the temp first. Cool. Um, I just do it on 375 and it makes it nice and easy and it preheats. I got this on Prime Day for like, I want to say like 70 bucks and it was one of the best purchases I've ever made. I cook like a lot of things in here. It's definitely not like the best, the best air fryer, but for the price, I think it's phenomenal. It has everything you need, like the, the temperature settings, the time, and it's pretty big on the inside. I don't know what this is on the outside. I like need to clean it. Um, and I'd literally stick the cauliflower gnocchi in there if you're new to my channel for 10 to 15 minutes in the air fryer and it should be good. And then I put the sauce on after. A lot of people also, like Mariah, asked me about the air fryer. She's like, all right, so like how much like oil goes into it, like stuff like that. And my answer to that is um, you can add oil like, on, like in the pan, I guess. I don't use any oil though. So that's my short answer for that. This is what it looks like. Sorry, I realize some of them are stuck together. So I'm gonna like try to open it up halfway through, move things around. And then I do time. I'll do it on like 12 minutes, but I'll probably like open it up halfway through, shake it around, and then, yeah, it's really, really yummy. I wish I had some greens, like some arugula or something. I don't think I have any of that. What do I have in here? Oh, I have soup I could have made too for lunch, but perfect. We have like the, so, the, the, so we have a couple of like built-in. All right, I realized I didn't vlog the rest of the day. I am, we'll have a little chat. I am still getting in the groove of doing this as my 
thing. Like I had a priority list of a bunch of things that I had to get done today and I got them all done, but I'm really bad about planning like when I'm going to do everything and I'm really bad about acting on like certain types of motivation. Like I'll be like, I need to podcast right now. Um, just cause I feel like motivated and I feel like that's like, that, that's like the creative in me. That's like the creative thing to do of course, but it's definitely unique and it's it's different i mean i'm super lucky that this is like my life now but it's definitely different so i'm getting my groove getting my health groove and i just made some emergency because i'm gonna go get dinner with some friends and then like i said go hang out with them because i was by myself all day so i feel like that's gonna be like my routine now is like grinding it out during the day and then like i'm gonna have to go like see friends and stuff because i'm gonna get like i don't know like i, I need social interaction like i can't just like stay here all day alone like that's just not gonna work and I'm still wearing all Fabletics, um, so you guys definitely have to go check them out. I think it's pretty clear, I'm obsessed. Click the link in the description so you can get two pairs of leggings for $24 when you sign up to be a VIP. If you're new to Fabletics, they're known for their like really good quality leggings for the price. And like I said, I really like the Power Hold and the Seamless ones if you're new to the brand. I feel like typical like high, high quality leggings can, they can literally be up to like 80, 90 bucks. It's like stupid and Fabletics is obviously very affordable and super trendy for the price. If you're not on the Fabletics bandwagon, you gotta hop on, link below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was a long one and bearing with me. And oh yeah, I straightened my hair during the day. I guess I didn't address that. Uh, I just wanted to change up the look and that's all. I'll talk to you guys all super soon. Bye guys.